If you're looking to earn lots of gold, gillions, or money in Hogwarts Legacy, well, today I have for you guys three things that you are going to need to do to be able to get tons of money so you guys are able to purchase different items in the game. And at the end, I'm gonna provide you with a fourth one that you can do in the game. If you like how that sounds, a like is much appreciated. So let's dive into this video. Now, yes, guys, money, money, money. There's nothing like even in real life, you need lots of it to even purchase items. And today, I'm gonna to provide you guys with one very obvious and two of them that you need to do now. Now, of course, the first one is going to be selling gear. As you progress throughout the entire game, you're going to be acquiring different gear. Uh, there's going to be different levels. So really sticking to one exactly gear doesn't matter because as you level through the game, you're going to be acquiring a lot of gear. So what? exactly you need to do is just go to a shop and sell your gear before you level up you're able to carry 20 gear slots once you upgrade and open that additional slot you're going to be able to carry 24 items which you are able to sell and that is one of the easiest i would have to say way to be able to get gold or gillian's money in Howard's Legacy. Now there is a second and third option that you can do. I'm gonna provide you guys with the second one and that is catching magical beasts. This one's guys, that gives you about 120 coins. And if you are able to gather like 10 different ones, we're talking about over 1200 gold coins which is going to help you not only upgrade your different spells and just overall make you more potent in the game. So one tip that I'm going to provide you is do not, do not by any ways farm the difficult beast because it doesn't matter. All you guys got to do is just sell the, like the least difficult ones that you are able to catch or get. Then once you do that, hey, you know what? You catch them, you sell them, and then you have money to be able to upgrade. So another tip is if you guys have your broom, this is going to be a lot easier. If you guys don't know how to unlock the broom, check out this video that's popping out right now. It's going to show you what exactly you need to do to be able to unlock your broom. That way you're able to explore Howard's legacy in a much faster and easier way. Now, once again, with the beast, make sure you guys go after the ones that have only meter that fills because you don't want to take on one that take has more than that because it's going to take you a lot longer it doesn't matter which one because it's going to be the same amount of money now the third option is going to be opening eye chests and to be able to do this guys it, there is a trick to it you're going to be using the delusionment spell this one is going to turn you invisible once you are turned invisible you're going to be able to open the chest you can find them in various locations throughout the whole game i'm gonna see if we can provide you guys with a full guide to let you know where exactly you need to go to be able to gather them but once you go and see one of the eye chests they're going to not open if they see you. So you gotta use the delusionment spell. Once you use that and you open it, it's going to give you 500 galleons, which is crazy amount of money that you guys are able to gather. One bad thing is that once you open the chest, that's it. You're not going to be able to open it once again, but it's not a problem. I mean, it's a lot of money, 500. That is why the second option where you're catching the magical beast is a better option. Now, if you are on PlayStation, and this is going to be the fourth tip, is that you just decide to open your own shop and you're able to sell everything by additional 10%. And that only works for PlayStation. I know there's a lot of backslash when we heard about this news, but it's something that you can take advantage if you are on PlayStation. Just open up your shop and sell the stuff that you have, and then you're going to be able to get 10% additional of whatever the price is. So that is how easily, easily you guys are able to just get more money in Hogwarts Legacy. If this video helped you guys a lot, a like is much appreciated. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more 
Howard's legacy. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Now, if you need to level up in the game much faster, check out this video. It's one through 40, easily, easily, best and fastest way you can level up in Howard's legacy.